I, I was at a meeting once explaining to uh, a group of people making humanoid robots that I was trying to give them mechanisms of emotion and that emotion was important for intelligence and perception and decision making and so forth. And they said, you know, um, we're starting to see that. We're starting to see why that's important. Uh, and afterwards, one of them came up to me visibly upset and she said in private, you can't give machines emotion. That's the last thing that separates uh, people from machines. And I said, how can that be the last thing that separates people from machines? You know, these, these are just uh, functions and mechanisms that we're putting in. I'm not talking about giving them um, the subjective experience, the uh, conscious awareness that people have. And, and attempts to do that in machines are, are very pitiful compared to what we know of human experience. They're, they're just not approximating it yet. So uh, I didn't see any conflict there at all in terms of the pieces that we're proposing because I see that emotion is this very rich, complex phenomenon, and the pieces we're proposing are, are a very small subset of that. Um, the nature of human experience of emotion is so much greater than anything we know how to build in a machine that we're not even beginning to approach that point of concern. Uh, now, there are, one could speculate, suppose we approach that point of concern and we uh, are able to build a machine that uh, functions like a person, appears to have emotions like a person, maybe has some internal processes that are modeled after human internal processes. Uh, maybe you ask it, are you alive? And it says, I am alive. <laughs> you know, is it, is it really a person? Well, this is an interesting question about the nature of human beings. Uh, so far, to the extent that it's built out of very different materials and has experiences that are very different from ours and is programmed, um, we, we don't, I, I don't see how it's going to uh, be called a person because it really, because uh, uh, so far we can't see how it could do the things that we can do fully in terms of true um, human experience and, and so forth.